Uh, hello, I am uh, Ivan Stan and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can run your Nucleus M uh, motors of uh, an alternative uh, power supply. Uh, Nucleus M will come just with one uh, power cable uh, which is uh, to connect to the V-mount uh, battery. It's a PTAP connection. And uh, if you don't want to use this battery, if you don't have it and you have, uh, let's say, a gimbal that has a 12 volt uh, output or you have some uh, other uh, power supply that has a 12 volt output, uh, how do you connect uh, your uh, Nucleus M motors uh, to this uh, alternative power supply? Uh, you will be getting one PTAP cable uh, with the Nucleus M. So what we're gonna need to do, we're gonna have to cut that cable uh, and uh, rewire it with a different uh, connector. So I'm going to show you now how I did it. Here is uh, my uh, nuclear sam that's mounted onto the Ronin S. So two motors are connected uh, with a cable okay and another cable which is a p-tap uh, connector cable i've routed it all the way down here all the way down here to my um, uh, power bank so this is not a regular power bank this is a, a laptop power bank that can run from uh, uh, from 5 to 24 volts so if we start it now you might be able to see it says 12 volts okay so it's got a DC output here on the side see and um, you can uh, run uh, your motors of a 12 volt or 14 or 16 volt from this battery so uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be the connector that goes inside inside the battery okay and it's gonna have two wires inside. One is gonna be red and one is gonna be black. So red is uh, positive, black is negative. So uh, this is one cable that you can use. And then another other option that you can use is on your Ronin S, you have two 12 volt output ports. So for this, you need a connector. You need this connector from DJI, this connector will come uh, uh, with a DJI focus motor, it will come with Tilta Nucleus Nano. You can order it online, maybe you have it from some other application. So you need that connector. Again, <coughs> it will have two wires inside. One will be red and one will be black. From the side of the Nucleus M, you're gonna have a cable that's got seven wires inside you need to uh, cut the cable and merge them together. You will uh, connect green, red and white in a single line and that's your positive end, that's a plus. And then all other wires which is blue, orange, black and uh, dark yellow. So these four are negative part. So you have to connect them together uh, like this okay you can do a, a bit better job than I did and uh, then let's see what's gonna happen when we run this off the battery or off the Ronin S I have uh, connected to the battery and uh, we are going to start the motors and let's check the voltage on the motor 11.1 volts that is the power that the motors are getting off my uh, power bank so that's a long cable going down 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 here and into battery here so one uh, drawback of this solution is that you need to have this very long cable it's also heavy cable running uh, uh, around your gimbal so the uh, the cable needs to be properly routed or it's going to be getting in the way all the time so uh, to avoid that cable problem let's try the other version we're going to connect here to the um, 
Ronin S power output which is on the head of the gimbal so we avoid any cabling problems. Okay, so now I have connected the cable. I'm still using this very long cable. I'm gonna shorten it and here this is just like <coughs> for you guys to can see how it's connected. I'm still using this very long cable and it's going back into the motor and let's start it. Now let's check the voltage that runs off the Ronin. So it says 12 volts. You can also cut this uh, long cable, make it much shorter. You just make it as long as needed to get to the power supply. And uh, that's gonna be the cleanest solution. I have decided to uh, use the Ronin S power supply in the end. I make the rig lighter by removing the battery because it was only used to power the uh, M motors. I routed the cable through the rod and on the other side I have wrapped the Nucleus M long cable around the rod because I might need the long cable in the future. I didn't want to cut it and everything is running off the Ronin S battery and I have removed the power bank now it's lighter but has same functionality you can also buy these cables on a Tilta website uh, Ronin S uh, to Nucleus M power cable it's quite costly, it's like $50-$60 for this one cable and then uh, you can also buy the uh, a DC cable to uh, Nucleus M I don't know how much that costs but uh, if you don't want to buy extra cables, you can uh, just use the one that comes uh, with the Nucleus Sam. I hope that uh, you learned something new today, then this is going to help you out. If you like this video, you can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also you can uh, follow me on Instagram. And of course, if you did not like the video, you can follow me on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube. Till next time, bye.